Okay, so next topic on my list was... Um, oh yeah, the Moodle topic, that's interesting. Um, if you don't know, um, yeah, it's kind of strange. Sometimes people think HRP is only available for Moodle, um, only available for WordPress, or only available for Drupal. You know, it, it works on all of them, but in um, in his no, I heard say in the past, this required a plugin for Moodle, and um, that is used here. So I would like to show you the, the, some of the differences first, um, which. Uh, let's see, let's the test course. So this is Moodle 3.8, which still uses the HRP plugin. Um, and here on this other one, this is Moodle 3.9, which um, has HRP built in and they work a little differently. And I would just like to show that and then discuss um, a thing that might be important in the future. So it's for you to decide if you want to use the plugin or if you want to use the core version of HRP. Uh, so, yeah, first of all, if you don't know it, but it, it's not um, that complicated uh, in general. So, this is a plain Moodle, and you, you turn on editing, and then you can add stuff here. For example, so you can go down here, add an activity, and then you choose HPP, which is an activity which is implemented by the plugin, and you go to add, and then um, if you do that, then you see the same thing that you see on every other system like WordPress or Drupal or whatever runs HRFE. This is the HRFE content hub and you can create your, your content, so nothing special here. Um, of course you can do some more things on Moodle, but it's not about showing these. It's just about showing you the difference between the plugin and the core. So this is how you create HRFE content, um, just like in any other um, host system that uses HRFE with a plugin. Then, on Moodle 3.9, it's a little different. Um, I think it's a little nicer, at least for Moodle users, in some re regards. And, uh, yeah, not yet there where it could be if you use the, the plugin. So, if you want to add content here, it's a little different. So, if I click to add an activity or resource, first you will see, okay, it's not a drop-down menu anymore. Uh, looks a little nicer, and um, we have HRFP here, which is blue, which uh, is a good indicator as I learned that this is from the core of Moodle. And you can add it here, and then you will see there is no sh such thing as the uh, HRFP content hub, but a new thing, which is called the content bank. This is new in Moodle 3.9. And uh, at first it only hosts HRFP content, but it will get other contents in the future, so um, that is nice. If you click on that, you can see I already created two uh, content types for testing. And um, this is basically where you can choose your content and choose to reuse it and stuff like that. So um, you can upload HRFP content here or you can add new content. And you would do that with clicking on Add. And now you see this is not the HRFP content type hub. So um, there's the same list of content types which can be um, updated automatically, which is pretty nice. You don't have to do that manually. Um, yeah, so I don't know what would we like to create. Let's say just an accordion. You create that, and then it opens as you can see. Um, but still, you have the same editor, which is pretty um, convenient. But you don't have the HRFE content hub. Will be important soon. Uh, soon <laughs> in, in a second. Um, yeah, so that would be how you create your content. I don't want to do that now. So I cancel, and so um, you, you can you can. Uh, check all your contents. If you want to um, include it in, in the page, um, let's see where that was. I was confused at first. I'm confused again. Uh, where was it? So that was the content bank. I was expecting to create. Oh, it was here, I think. You then you click on that button, which um, allows you to pick files. And then there is this new option like content bank, where you can see um, there are my, my contents that I created before. Um, so I click use the test one, for example. I select it and then it's done. So now I've included um, this and, and if I return to the course, I will see it. Didn't I click? Oh, oh I didn't uh, have title. Of course, I will use test. What else should I use? So there it is. Works as well. Um, same thing, but you don't have the content hub. Um, I think for Moodle users, it is a great plus. Uh, it now has this content uh, bank and it's integrated in core. Um, the downside is that it 
for now doesn't feature theming so on H if you use the plugin you can restyle the content if you want to so it matches your overall style of the page that is not possible yet as far as I know that has not been implemented so you can do that if you see the core version of Moodle as a downside but I guess it's just a matter of time until the um, H5P core team uh, the, the um, Moodle core team that's important will implement it because um, the plugin was created by Yubel, the HRP core team, and the Moodle core version was created by the Moodle team. Um, so those didn't um, cooperate on that one, as far as I know. Um, yeah, but I guess the Moodle core team will, will implement that as well, because I guess it's pretty important to be able to restyle your system. Um, so that is kind of nice, and now the important part will be the, the content type hub. Because as of or um, not as of now, um, right now, it is not important to have it, I think. You can perfectly live without it, you can upload content. Um, it might be a little more tricky to copy content, um, but um, in general that works as well. But if you go to the latest, um, what is it called, status report, I think, of HRF, you will see this one here, where there's a little discussion about uh, which version you should choose. Um, and one thing caught my attention, and it is, um, it's this one here. Because I don't know, um, if you know, um, there will soon be a thing called OER Content Hub, which will be, in oh, maybe I could just show it first. Um, oops. I think there is a link somewhere. It's not here. Where is the link? Here's a link. So, um, okay, 38%, well, this is nice. Um, the OER Content Hub, um, it will be integrated in this, here we can see it, into the, uh, yeah, the, the Content Hub that we know. So you can create content as you can today, and you can upload content as you can today. And there's a new option which is Get Shared Content, which is pretty nice because in the editor, if you create content, you can in the future have uh, like a check mark, and if you tick that, um, um, then your content will automatically be transferred to a central server, and uh, you can add uh, metadata, keywords, uh, as you can see, license, level, disciplines, and whatever. And uh, other people can get click on get shared content, and then search for content that they would like to use, and they they can reuse that. So. Um, that will be implemented in the hub, and I don't know if the, the Moodle core team will put that into Moodle core. Would be nice, I think, but I don't know if they want to do that. But this is just just a minor thing. So if you don't have that, mm, I guess you can live with it because Moodle, I guess, will have their own kind of um, content sharing, um, yeah, platform server. Um, but the more important thing um, that won't work will and will cause trouble. Um, is okay maybe i can just read it because that's what i would tell you i don't know more so future versions of h5p content types will be tighter integrated with the h5p hub um, this is because not only will you be able to use the area hub to fetch enter h5ps you will also be able to use it to include content from the oer hub within larger h5ps and then the rest is um uh, like like an example so um if in a course presentation, for example, there you have this um, navigation bar at the top where you can um, add the interactions like images and questions and so forth. And it seems that in the future this will be changed to uh, use the hub. Um, I don't know why that will be done. I don't think it is um, a reaction to Moodle using HFP in core. Um, would make sense, but um, um, I don't know the reason because it makes yeah it. it Hmm. Yeah, as it said, it, it, tight, it makes a tighter integration of H5P with the H5P hub. And so if you don't have the hub, then actually you yeah, may run into trouble using H5P. So I don't know how that will turn out. And now this is my um, yeah, point of discussion, maybe. I don't know if you know what forking is, but if you have open source projects like, um, let's say, OpenOffice might be a good example. Uh, at some point in time, there were disagreements about the future of 
the, the project. So um, we now have OpenOffice and LibreOffice, which are kind of the same, but they have differences and they are not completely compatible anymore, I think. Um, and I don't know how likely that is to happen with H5P because um, we now have the H5P core team going in one direction um, and they gained a lot of traction, so um, that is an attractive way to go. But also now we have this Moodle core version, which is um, also have these benefits. And uh, Moodle has more resources than the H5P core team, definitely. And Moodle is also very popular. And um, the worst case would be that they go different path. And um, H5P uh, in the long run, not, not at first. At first, you will have some features here and some features there. And um, like just some bonus here and there. But in the long run, it might mean that you might have two different versions of H5P which are not compatible anymore. So, um, like for example, if you have course presentation and you have the official version which will, which will, which will not run on Moodle anymore if you don't use the, the hub and um, the other way around. If you have a special Moodle version, it will not run on a normal HRFP and that would kind of, um, yeah, be totally, not being able to share these versions would be totally against what, what HRFP was intended to do. So. Um, if you have an opinion on that, and um, um, please share it. I would, I would really like to know because that is a topic that bothers me a little bit. Yeah, it's not imminent, but it uh, might, might come up in in the future, in the long run.